Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Living in the Midwest certainly has its advantages, but it can be a real challenge when it comes to making sure that our homes are comfortable year-round. Joining us today is Dave Osborne, and he is the president of Conserve Products. And Dave, you've created a really interesting type of building envelope that not only addresses uh, energy efficiency, but also the moisture levels in a home. Can you tell us about that? Thank you, yes. Uh, what has happened to in our industry is that we've to been tightening up our houses and as a result we have higher moisture levels in them. So our envelope has really not stayed with the technology that creates this moisture inside the houses. What, what we've tried to do is to create a wall and ceiling but a wall that will be moisture free by keeping all of the surfaces warm and above dew points. So they're all at the same temperature in essence. That's correct. We have a very high insulation value with a two by four wall. We put an inch and a half of styrofoam for the sheathing on the outside, which keeps the whole shell of the house warm. And then we sprayed three inches of urethane in the cavity. That gives us surfaces that are way above any levels that moisture can be created. What are some of the problems um, that we find with condensation? Well, condensation and moisture absorbing products can cause rot and can lead to mold eventually. How did you come up with this system? Well, back in the 1970s, uh, a lot of different wall systems were being used. And we decided to find out which ones were safer when it came to condensation and moisture. What we found out was that the thicker you made the wall, the colder the temperature on the outside of the sheathing and the greater the potential for condensation. Okay, let's walk through this house. Can you share with us uh, how this house is different? Well, besides the walls, the envelope is a little bit different. The basement walls have two inches of styrofoam on the outside and one inch on the inside so that the moisture from the soil doesn't get into the lower level. The basement floor has an inch of styrofoam underneath it so that that floor being insulated can be safely carpeted. If you don't insulate a concrete floor, the chances of condensation getting involved with carpeted, when you carpet that floor, uh, becomes a real problem. And of course, that's a real easy area to get mold. Um, the ceiling in the upper level has an inch of foam, and then an R50 fiberglass on top of that for an R55. And the reason for the inch of foam is to keep heat out of the fiberglass so that the cold ventilated air does not rob, up, rob it of additional R value. How about your heating and cooling systems? Did you have to modify those or put in different types of systems for well, this home? You can reduce your costs because of the way the envelope is built. We have no central furnace. We're heating it with the fireplace and cooling it with a split unit heat pump, which has two indoor air handlers upstairs and one downstairs. And this is a big house too. Uh, 1,800 square feet upstairs, 1,200 downstairs. Right. We hear a lot today about the concerns of having a home that is too tight. Have you addressed that issue? Yes, you can't have a house too tight. What you want to do is mechanically uh, be able to control it. You're far better off controlling it than just letting Mother Nature try to do it for you. We have an energy recovery ventilator, and it takes the moist, stale air out and brings in fresh air while exchanging the heat or the energy from one airstream to another. Zero degree air comes in at about 55 or 60 degrees. And that uh, cooler air is put in right behind the refrigerator and so that the refrigerator coils operate more efficiently and help to warm the air up the rest of the way. That's very creative. Thanks for sharing these concepts with us. Very interesting. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned a lot about humidifiers and air cleaners and how they really do improve the comfort of your home. Megan, I thought it was really interesting to go to the plant and find out exactly how they're made. Then I saw how window film is installed and learned about the energy benefits of window film and how it can protect items in your home. And we also spoke with a home builder and learned about his innovative way to construct a new home, which saves energy and reduces moisture buildup.